Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel. I am Rex, and there's two. Usually we just start with one locked and loaded. What's going on here? So this is from Sam Filmus, who uh, is president of Impex Beverage. Yes. Which is the import company that is importing this whiskey. Okay. So he's a rep. So he's a rep. Yes. So reps, they, they have a vested interest in this whiskey making an appearance like a financial. Yeah. So it's, it's a little awkward for us. Um, they got in line like everybody else, but now they're up, and so we're just like that. But, um, okay. You ready? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> My favorite is every once in a while I'll get a new person. Right. He's like, I can't believe someone went to all the trouble to send you a whiskey and you right. treated them like shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, no. I'm like. They know. Right. By the way, if you guys have ever wondered, when someone who has a financial interest in a whiskey emails and says, can we send you something? Right. I reply with this email that says, sure, right. but we're going to give you an awkward pause. It looks like this, and I link them to a video of the timestamp, right. and you are not gonna, we're going to tell everybody you're a rep. We're going to tell everybody, blah, 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 and we're not obligated to like it. So, and they always reply yeah. you, and across the board, that's amazing. <laughs> Could you please name me in the awkward pause? Right. So... Uh, some channels don't allow anybody in the industry to send them anything. Right, like Ralphie. <laughs> well, Ralphie and there's others too. They got varying you know, rules that they establish for themselves. The reason why we decided, yes, we're going to let people in the industry uh, send us stuff, uh, because it became very clear, since we have so many bottles that are donated, they would just send us a bottle anyway and right. not tell us. Yeah. And I much, much rather people be honest about where they're coming from. Right. Um, and we can acknowledge the person, you know, within the context that they sent this, as opposed to them pretending to be a member of the community, pretending to be a magnificent bastard and sending it in a bottle. And we are not keeping this whiskey. This is, that's the other reason I'm okay with it. Yeah. This, this is a brand de donating to the vault. Yeah. Not to Rex and Daniel. For what it's worth, because everybody has like their own criteria and rules for what they do and don't do on their channels. Uh, we have never and will never ask a whiskey maker for free whiskey. Yeah, that's true. Even whenever we go to distilleries, and even whenever we're at the distillery and um, you know we've been drinking their whiskey and we're exploring stuff and we're talking about the, the scene and their region, whatever, never, never ever. And we've actually had makers comment afterwards, it's like, do you guys, I mean, you want a whiskey? You want to kind of give you a bottle? bottle. <laughs> because like, mm. so many people, like with the blogs and the podcasts, they go and one of the first things they ask is, so I get like a bottle so I can review it? Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> but, are we just going to pay them if we think it's a worthwhile whiskey? Yeah, you, there's a whole bunch of line items on my personal credit card of like purchased whiskey from random distilleries that we were visiting in shooting <laughs> episode. Okay, so this is Glen Alecky, which is an actual distillery. Yeah. Right, in Scotland. Uh, dates back uh, in 1967. Okay. Um, they have trying to change hands multiple times, but I'm actually kind of excited about this one for a couple of reasons. Uh, they are a space side distillery, which as you know, not my typical favorite. Yeah. However, I like the space side. However, most things taste like space side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> however, yeah. recently they went from like a big uh, production, relatively speaking, yeah. uh, making a lot of whiskey just for blends and then some of their own stuff to a complete re uh, buyout yeah. with a trio that involves Billy Walker, who I love what he's making. He was a master distiller, Glenn Dronick, Ben Reick. Oh. And Glenn, and so he's now involved in Glen Alecky, mm. bought in, and he did a couple things. He lowered the production numbers okay. so they could focus on what they were getting quality wise. Okay. He extended fermentation runs okay. so that they could get a wider, heavier, okay. more flavor, a, diff, a different flavor profile to work with for distilling. Okay. And then they started really doubling down on cask management like what we were seeing at Waterford, yeah. where they're trying all these varying things. This is one of the first rounds of their core, re-release of their core range, yeah. with him involved in all of that stuff. Okay, so you've been Woo! talking while I've been nosing. And as I've been nosing, this is a very, very rich, vibrant, sweet fruitiness. Right. Uh, and um, you keep going back to it over like the next minute to 90 seconds. Um, it does start to evolve and change over time. Eventually, I get to this place where I'm getting some nice, um, like a, some cinnamon and some baking spices in there underneath these really sweet, rich fruits. It's yeah, a lovely absolutely. whiskey on the nose. I'm, I'm also really... getting a lot of that grain. Here's a weird thing that popped into my head. Okay. Okay, I'm going to say it because it's really weird. Cabin Crunch. 
<laughs> like crunch berries. Right. There's this candy sweetness mm -hmm. that's also got this like, oh, I know what you mean. You see what I mean? Yeah. That's yeah, so, yeah, yeah. That's so weird. <laughs> it, it doesn't smell like that, but there's like this hint of something that reminds me of like a... No, I think Captain Crunch may be pretty close. <laughs> Like uh, isn't that weird? It is. It is. But there's that. But there's still there's this under layer of like a, a thicker, richer fruitiness, and then <laughs> yeah, just ruin it for mm -hmm. both. Well, it, then there's almost like gosh, I wish I could get more specific than fruit pie. But there's kind of like a fruit pie in there too, underneath. Yeah. Yeah. This is not all of those lighter, sweeter flavors. This is a twelve-year-old, forty-six percent space side, but it's not like a really simple butterscotch sweet. Space side. Yeah. And it's not got the malt funk. It does not, no. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Simple. It's pretty much everything I was expecting from the nose, 80%. Yeah. Yeah, it's like it approached everything. The nose is beautiful. Yeah. But the, the nose was definitely pri prioritized over the palate. Yeah, and the palate's not bad. It's just what the nose sets you up for. It delivers 80% of that on the taste, okay. which is nice. It's just you're not getting like the full gamut of nuance oh, that you were getting on the nose. Spread it around and it comes back to life a little bit. See what I mean? Oh, yeah. It just sort of, and it's almost got this slight sour funk mixed with all the sweet candied notes, but it's like a candied sour, like when it's like when a sour zestiness is part of a sweet treat. So it's not... A gross sour. It's like no. a like a ding. A little yes, accent. a little bit of a maybe zest is more of the right word. Okay, right. Yeah. All right. What is the second approach? It does get a little bit more present. You got to throw it around there a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, yeah, a little bit of swishing action there. Okay, so this one yes is the fifteen. Same. So story. these are yeah same story. This is part of their core range now. Yeah. Evidently. Did, did wait Billy Walker. There's two people here. No, no, no. That's just I wrote rep. Oh, okay. All right. Impex Bev. So I wrote Impex Ooh. Bev, Impex Beverage specifically. Yeah. Because when Sam emailed me, I was like, Impex Beverage. I know that name. Why do I know that name? It's because Joshua Hatton works for Impex Beverage. Okay. Joshua Hatton of Single Cask Nation fame. Oh, right. Right? right? Yeah. And, uh, did we meet him? And they import a whole bunch of other. Yes, we did. Yeah. At. Um, it's like Rhode in, Island or something. Rhode Island in. Anyway. Yes. All right, you ready for? I don't want to like. Oh, that's it for me. That is such a rich caramel. Yeah, that is a that is a Werther's original yeah. butterscotch. Yep. That's what I was expecting to get in the twelve. Yeah, the butterscotch. Yeah, absolutely. The butterscotch caramel. That whole yeah. non show filtered. Ooh. Natural color. Look at the color difference on that. that Three is... years right there. Oh, let's see if we can turn it sideways. There you go. That's pretty meaningful. Yeah. Look at that. That's crazy. That's crazy. It's not that crazy. I really like the I like the nose better on the 15, even though it lost a little bit of the the outlier notes and so, simplified more into a typical space side for me. Yeah. Okay. It's simplified into a typical space side, but it's really pretty. So for our preferences. Oh. Yeah, this leans into a little bit more of that rich oiliness, and it's musty almost. Mm. I like it, not f malt funk. Okay, but there's just this like dusty. It's not. It's maybe it's lightly peated. Maybe know. that's what it is. It. I'm not getting peat, and I'm not getting smoke. Right, but, but you're not getting dessertiness. There's no, no, no. There's something going on, and I said, hey, what's going on? Yeah, 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 yeah. I said, hey, what's going on? That's pretty good. Yeah? Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you know what my thought process was? Hmm. Don't step on the moment, because I want to be able to cut out the clip and reuse that. <laughs> of me singing, hey, what's going on? Hey! Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're the editor, and you was like, "It's gold. Right. It's gold. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't, don't mess touch. with it. Just let it happen." <laughs> <laughs> okay, so wait. Before you do comments, uh, someone who shall remain unnamed because they didn't want to be named on the show. Fair enough. And a recent class, not by recent, I mean a while ago, yeah. brought in a bottle of Glen Alecky. Oh, yeah. And at the time, I'd never heard of it. Right. And then we got sent these. 
We're going to try that one too. So the anonymous magnificent bastard. Yeah, the anonymous magnificent bastard brought in Glenallocky single cask. Okay. 2006 yeah. released specifically for the USA and oh. 12 years old. Okay. And what I wanted to see is what a single cask 12 year old right. does compared to their main release 12 year old. So a yeah? single cask, the, the, one of the main reasons why distillers are often blending together a lot of their own whiskeys is if they've established a flavor profile for a specific line that they're selling, consistency is kind of important. Whenever people fall in love with a particular whiskey, they want their next bottle to be really freaking similar, if not exact, exactly the same to that whiskey. Now, single cask in whiskey across distilleries, um, single cask can have quite a wide range of variation. Oh, yeah. Flavors to intensities the, the 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 main notes that you're getting on one barrel are going to be completely flipped on another barrel That's why you do the blending to try and find this averaging out. So this is a single barrel 12 years old And this is a blended version. Well a, at the distillery. Yeah, yeah. A, a multiple barrels. Yeah, yeah. not blended yeah, 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 yeah. distilleries but Yeah, yeah multiple multiple barrels from the same distillery blended here single barrel. This here. is cask eight nine five Okay Oh yeah, it's different. Wow, less sweet. Yes, way less floral. Yeah. Right up front, yeah. this is a wood and uh, and syrup, like wood and maple or yep. wood and butterscotch. Yep, yep, yep. And and it's it's I'm gonna say it's pretty dramatically less sweet. Oh yeah, this is <laughs> this is a totally different whiskey. It, Completely yeah. different. This is why distillers are blending together their lines to try and achieve that consistency. Because if you fell in love with this, this beautiful floral sweet. If you fell in love with the sweetness from this, and then you went to the single barrel version, you're not going to find it in that barrel. This is so woody comparatively. Oh, I like it better. See, I like the fruity one better. Mmm. So you're not a, you don't like sweet sweet things. No no no. This has this like tannic bite. And it's a lot more, it's, oh, is sweet it, Jesus. Was Look it higher proof? Was it higher proof? Yeah, because it's right. still going, and I'm like, this is still going, and it's oily, oh. and it's heavy. It's 61 point, almost 62% alcohol. <laughs> so no, Holy crap. This one's 46. Yeah. So not exactly a fair comparison, but no. we know even with um, cranking up the proofs yeah. on some whiskey, if <clears> this <throat> was cranked up to that you know same proof. Who knows? It, it, well, I'm saying... That sweetness, it's way too pronounced at this 46% proof. Yeah. It's not gonna magically disappear at the higher proof. No, I don't sweetness, think so. Sweetness carries through in the higher proofs. I think so. Yeah. But uh, what I would say is, I would argue that the proofed down is more complex. I, no, I would agree. That's why I like this better. And by complex, I don't mean dramatic. I mean there's more things happening. Whereas this, that's exactly what I was gonna do. This cask strength, single cast 2006, that one right here. Um, Right. Is rich and woody and oily, and I love all those things, but it, there are less things happening. So I just dropped some water in here, and that proof is going to be not exact, obviously, but ballpark. It's going to be getting much closer to where this sweeter. How fruity, much water did you drop in? Uh, it's probably about half a cap. That's going to be less, probably You're less. Probably in the fifties. Nah. I had very little whiskey in here before. This is with half. A oh, cap. drink it again with water. The fruit shows up. When you water it down, all of the fruit and floral notes Holy show no, up. Oh, you're right. Wow. Son of a bitch, this is it. Wow. Like, I am I'm actually stunned. I'm a little at how much how much sweetness was unlocked from this. Yeah. Because this was not a sweet whiskey. No, it was a fruit. woody, rich oil. Like, yeah. like if I described it, it was described as mahogany. And simpler too. It yes. was simpler at the higher proof than this right here. You you put in some water. Holy hell, this is a this with water. Entirely different ballgame. This is a whiskey I would use as an example of how different impact a water is. And we're like suddenly starting to get pretty close. There's still some recognizable, very recognizable differences. I can't believe I'm going to argue that proofing this bottle down made it more interesting. Yeah, no, it happens. <laughs> We've, look, it's, look, it's, it's the exception to the rule. Yeah. The, yeah, yeah. the rule is the vast majority of the time you're proofing it up and you're, you're, Amping oh. up a lot of the flavors, but we've had enough examples of proofing down whiskeys and they do become better and more interesting and more layered and, yeah. and rich and all that stuff. So sometimes proofing down is the right move. I know. Now that Don't being said, if you hand me a cast strength, yeah. I, ain't, <laughs> I ain't gonna complain. Fair enough. Uh, Mr. Braxton, does Daniel wear anything other than black shirts? No. So I, I was, <laughs> I needed to dress up the other day. Yeah. 
and I realized I only have two dress shirts. I used to have an elaborate closet. An ensemble. I did, <laughs> yeah, because I'm serious about clothes. But what happened was having to be on camera all the time changed how I dress because I'm tired of having to think about it. What think? Just put on... No, I... <laughs> I care too much about clothes. I know it doesn't look like it. I care too much about clothes and fashion, and I decided finally I'm just going to keep this simple. And it, and my life got complicated, and right. I wanted one less thing to decide. Right. And this was how I did it. I'm about to go out and go shopping at Are some you? point. Are you? going to? I'm going to buy some new clothes. You're going to do now. A little, the question is little one, little runway walk. The question course. is. A little sassy. Do we then... violate the four years of Daniel and a V-neck black T-shirt? And does Daniel start wearing other clothes? Yes. Why? Because I'm... What's the upside? I'm bored looking at you. I dress... I dress <laughs> up. That, that's how I roll. I don't go to more t-shirts. I don't own t-shirts. Right. This is the only t-shirt I ever own. See, I'm torn. Because on one hand, I'm very, very bored looking at this. I'm already living the Groundhog, Groundhog Day during the Rona. <laughs> yeah. It's just the same thing over and over and over. <laughs> this does not help. This situation does not help. Uh -huh. uh, at the same time, I've been trying forever to get you to subscribe to my zero fucks protocol. It makes life so much easier. The ZFP. If you just live your life with zero fucks, it's amazing. No. Now, you switching this up, that wouldn't come from a place of the ZFP. No. It would come from a place of, I think I want to put in some effort. Yeah. That bothers me, but the, the switching it up visually, I'm on board. I'm torn. In the comments, what do you think? You want to see The Hobbit rock something different than a black <laughs> V-neck tee? Or is it just classic? It's I so used to be real in, uh, really into fashion. I mean, still am. I just... All right. We got Stephen Pierce. Why is it that Daniel always pours the bottles? Does Rex not like to pour? Also, what is it with the water in the drink? It is a very small cap of water. What does that do for the whiskey? We kind of just did that whole thing. Yeah, so the it, explanation is yeah. you're not watering down whiskey. Mm -hmm. You're opening up and releasing things that time has bound together. Yeah, I think uh, we actually did an entire episode on this on another channel, the how, when, and why to add water to whiskey on the Whiskey Tribe channel. Once again, though, we've reached a point where we don't need to start anymore with, I'm the psalm, I'm the mood. Oh, yeah. Right, and... So the original Welcome premise. Welcome to the whiskey. Vlogs. Yeah, I'm the song. Uh, no, 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 level, no, he's I'm the level, level three whiskey, whiskey song. song. No, I say I say you're the level three. Oh, that's right. You do it. And then you say. And he's uh, a level no, something. No, 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 he's not even a mooch anymore. Grant, well, back in the day though. Back oh, in the okay. Day, back in the day, and I'm trying. Okay. Look, I will. I will rise from the ashes. <laughs> Speaking of Daniel, yes. On our other channel, yes, we are having the Bachelor's Bowl live stream. Yeah, in a few days from when this airs, actually. Oh, oh, oh! So we're doing like this giant epic marathon live stream with the yeah. Whiskey Tribe, with our community of magnificent bastards and whiskey lovers. Yeah, that you were invited to yeah. join. We're gonna have so many freaking master distillers, like with us in the studio. That's so the Bachelor's Ball. We're gonna have. We got the YouTubers in the whiskey tube scene. We got the master distillers mm -hmm. doing their whiskey things, and there may be some other things that we do. That Daniel's unaware of. Here's to fight, steal, and drink. Uh, if you fight me, I fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal your lover's heart. And if you drink, may Ish. you drink with us. Uh, what? What are you trying to get your joke back in? <laughs> this, is, this is really. I'm not saying it's good. No, but it's it's obviously not good. It's wonderfully bad. All right, cheers. <laughs>